Hi and welcome to On Point, the chat show that gives young people a chance to air their views and showcases new talent. We aim to entertain and inspire. I'm your host, Nathan John. The topic for today is Enterprise, release the entrepreneur in you. As we know, some young people turn to crime and gangs as a way of survival. We want to show how starting and running your own business is one of the best ways of escaping a hard life. Joining today's discussion is founder and CEO of Sanity Properties, Dwayne Forbes, and our permanent panelist, Daryl James. We'll be showcasing music from Cherry Fee and have a one-to-one -one with the young man of the moment, Chipmunk. Just stay right there and enjoy the show. I'm now joined by Dwayne Ford and Daryl James. At the end of the day, you as an individual, you're your own brand. And for me, that's, that's what made me want to go into this. So for me, it's more about if, you, if you've got a vision for yourself and you've got something you want to achieve, no one else is going to do it for you. So yeah. you have to take that step to do it. And this is the first step on a long journey to sort of future success. Man. That was fair to say that there are a lot of young entrepreneurs, but they're selling drugs, they're selling guns, illegal products. Do you think if there are more legal entrepreneurs like Dwayne, it actually would change that? I do think so. I think even though that he is legal, I think he still has a responsibility to share some of his skills. No, that's, that's a fair statement. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of them that do hit the market and hit off running. Yeah. And, they, they, and the kids lack encouragement and can't see where they say, hey, he's got enough to do with me, never come from where I come from. But coming from the same place that they can't come from, it's nice that they can look and say, ah, oh, that guy's only around the corner, but look what he's done. And skills is key as well, because education, I see, is like a key. But you've got to have that ability to turn Twist the key. key and open the door and step through it. And then say to the next man, look, the door's open. Well, that's it. Because at the end of the day, you know, whoever you are and whatever I end up achieving, I've got responsibility to give back to where I came from. That was safe as always. Dwayne, no appreciate you coming on. The next part of the show is where we showcase new and unsigned talent. So if you're someone who wants to share your gift with the world, Get in touch and we'll see what we can do. I'm Cherry V and you're going to watch my video, Between the Sheets. Hope you like it. I'm now joined by a 70 year old artist that's taken the music industry by storm. Some call him one of the greatest MCs around, other call him Chipmunk. Here he is now. Safe for coming on, bro. Scared of no respect, man. Yeah, safe. Cool. Well, you're definitely not the typical 70 year old, um, <laughs> especially as a music artist as well. Yeah. You've got four Bs, five As, and you're currently studying accountancy, drama, and sociology. sociology. Man, that's good, man. Yeah. So, so if music weren't your thing, what would you be doing? Well, I like I liked working with kids, innit? Because I feel all that. If we had more people from my generation growing up that were like highly influential, yeah. but at the same time had respect when they were out on the roads, but still highly educated, some of us wouldn't be in some of the problems we're in now. So I would like to be that person that can help. Well, listening yeah. to one of your tracks, My Life, you talk about how people don't actually know you. Mm. There's more to you that kind of meets the eye. I mean, what one thing would you say? What one thing can you tell us about yourself that a typical person don't know? Like, you're yeah, referring back to the My Life track. Like, My Life is basically, when you're going through life, you're going to experience, like, bad things. Like, one of the worst, what made me into the person I am today was a good friend of mine got stabbed and died. So it's like, you can either, from that, some people, depends how strong your willpower is, you can either run riot and turn into a madman and pursue those type of actions, or you can think, whoa, and wake up and do your own thing. So, yeah, I tell you that happened, and I tell you how 
that could avoid you could avoid that situation as a listener yep. and also how it affected me instead of saying all right my friend got stabbed so now i'm gonna stab people it don't make no sense but one thing people don't know about me is that i'm actually like an approachable cool person like you assume that most MCs and artists are stuck up. Like when I was growing up, the MCs that were in my position now, you could hardly talk to. Safe man. Respect, man. Now before we go, here's some of the views you had on today's topic. I believe all young people can be an entrepreneur. With hard work and faith, you can reach any goal. That's all we have time for. But please get in touch by email and let us know what you thought of the show. You can also suggest a topic, guest or music for the next one. Remember, if you're someone who has an idea, believe in it. And more importantly, believe in your own ability. There's nothing you can't achieve. I'm your host, Nathan Johns, signing out. Stay blessed.